In this video, we will take a look at grading and the grading interface for assignments. So there's a couple ways that you can actually find your assignment submissions. Uh, the first way is through the course content. So we're going to look at that first. And coming here, I can actually click on the assignment. And down here under my activity deals, remember this is where we customize the assignment. But there's another tab over here for a completion summary. And so over here I can see what students have submitted and a grade assigned, if I have a grade assigned. So I'm going to come here, I can actually click on test student Emily McWorthy. And this is going to come up with the grading interface here. I'm not going to do anything with this yet because I'm going to show you a couple other ways you can access this page. Go ahead and go back to submissions here. Um, and this is going to take me back to this page. I can also go to course admin and assignments. And note here for this last one, this CAD Assignment 1, um, is going to show you the total number of files and the total number of unread files. I do want to point out that unread and ungraded are not the same thing. This is just going to show you files that have not been opened yet. So where this can become slightly problematic is if you have um, a, if you're going through and you're grading and you know you open up a student file and then you get distracted doing something else, and you uh, come back, that file now has been opened so it's been read. So it's not going to show here as an unread file, um, which can sometimes be a little bit deceptive because you think you might have graded it, but you didn't. So uh, note, this only shows unread files or files that have not yet been opened. It does not show graded or ungraded. So I'm going to come over here to this arrow, click on View Submissions. Now I can get a better idea of what's graded or ungraded because I can come down here and see this says Evaluate. That means it's not yet been graded. I can also come up here and say um, I can show users with graded unpublished submissions, I can show users without submissions, users with submissions, I can come down here and show users without feedback. So if you know you always leave feedback, then this will also be able to filter for student submissions that have been ungraded. If I choose any options here other than de the default, um, I'm going to come up here and click this magnifying glass icon and this will apply my filter settings. So again here, we can come over here to evaluate. Um, I'm going to show you one more way before we get into do this, and that is from the grades area. So I'm going to come in here to the grades area. I'm going to find my cat assignment one. I'm going to click on that. And when I get to this page, I'm going to note that there's a little icon next to test student Emily McWorthy, and I can click on this icon to view the submission. And this is again going to open up that grading interface in a different window. So now I'll go over the grading interface. So the grading interface up here, if you would like to see the assignment prompt again, um, you can actually show that here if you want to get an idea of what the assignment was asking the students to do. Um, there's also folder dates here. If you have folder dates, I don't have dates in here. Um, to come over here to the left-hand side, if you just click on the bold item, that will open up the student submission. You can download the submission as well if you want to download it. Um, if you do have a rubric attached, you can um, actually grade with the rubric here. I don't have a rubric attached. That's for a later tutorial. We'll note that it's attached to this grade item. I can come down here. I can enter my feedback. We'll say, great job. And enter my score. And then I do have a few more options down here. I can add a file. If I want to attach a file back to a student, I can record audio feedback. I can also record video feedback. And I do have the full HTML editor here, including that insert stuff and images, so if I can also attach things back to the student that way. I also have the quick link, so if I need to say, please refer to the reading for more information, I can actually quick link to the reading in here as well. Okay, now I have two options. I can save this as a draft. Um, this is going to save it, but not actually send it to the gradebook. Um, otherwise, I'm going to come over here and click Publish. And now I can do a couple things to see if it's saved. You'll see here it's saved. I can go back to submissions and it's going to take me back to this page. I can go back here to completion summary. I can see that it's graded. I can go into grades and find this CAD assignment one. We'll go enter grades and I will see the grade here. Lastly, I can go in here to course admin assignments and let's find our CAD assignment one. We'll view submissions. And I'm going to come down here, instead of seeing evaluate this time, I'm going to see where it says published to show that this has been graded and this grade has been published to the gradebook. 